Hello guys, welcome to this new video. In this video, we're going to be discussing about the dual SIM iPhone and how it works. Since one or two years now, Apple has been making dual SIM iPhones. The traditional dual SIM iPhone comes with one physical SIM and one electronic SIM, which is eSIM. And eSIM is well, a SIM card that your carrier programs into your phone. So it's not actually in your phone, but you know, you can use the number on your phone. That's not popular in this part of the world. This model I have here is actually an iphone 11 pro max from hong kong china region which is the a2220 this model is different because it allows two physical sim cards its sim card tray actually supports adding two sim cards take a look here i have one sim card here at the back and there's a space for another sim card in here two physical sim phones are good for people who travel a lot and people that like to keep their personal and business lives separate. Now let's take it by the phone. We go into settings here, mobile data. We can see in here that the device looks like a regular single SIM phone. If we decide to take out the SIM card tray and pop in a second SIM card into the phone, we get this notification asking you a new data plan has been detected and you know you have to set up the new sim card we'll continue now i ask you data plan labels now i can choose to make one our primary sim stays already and the other one our business sim then continue then it asks you what line do you want to use as your default line my primary sim continue the next one is you know what number do you want is for iMessage and I'll just go and you know say primary something continue mobile data do you want mobile data from the first sim or second sim and do you want to allow data switching so I'll just go with primary and probably allow data switching done now if you take a look up here you will observe that there are now two reception areas and if we bring up the control center we will see that we have two sim cards currently in the phone now, what does this mean for your day-to-day -day usage of the phone? I know a lot of people have forgotten that phones were actually made for phone calls. If we come into the keypad here, if you look up here, you'll see primary rating here, which means that whatever you dial now will be sent from your primary SIM. And for instance, you dial 911, I hope nobody needs to dial 911. Send, that's going to be made using your primary SIM. See here, P. To make a call with your secondary SIM, all you need to do is click primary, and click use secondary sim now if we were to call say 112 dial it's going to be making the call with your business sim now i'm going back into settings here mobile data you can see that this page here now looks different because we can set up our mobile data you know from what sim we want to use we can set up what sim we want to use as our default voice line to make calls and stuff and we can see what sim we want to use for our data plans going here also selecting the sim card here you can also customize it maybe from primary to say travel you can come here and you know edit it to whatever you want in here you can set your you know 3g lte and your other sim applications and all that are here same for others and you can also turn on the low data mode as we saw in my tips video if you haven't watched that i'll probably put a card somewhere here or a link in the description it's also important to note that the dual sim iphone doesn't support all 4g bands here in nigeria it doesn't support glow 4g so if you have a glow sim card you are not going to be able to use 4g you have to use on 3g be sure to check and make sure it supports the 4G band of your carrier. And finally, even though it's not so significant, I like that the UK region comes with this UK type plug chargers. That's what we have here in Nigeria compared to this US one, which you need adapters for and all that. Anyways, guys, we've come to the end of the video and I hope I've been able to educate you on the dual SIM iPhone. Now I'm going to switch from my OnePlus 7 Pro to this guy here in an attempt to use an iPhone for the first time ever as my daily driver. If you like this video give it a thumbs up if you love this subscribe and remember to click the bell icon so you get notified every time i upload a new video thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one bye